Deham, 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 Deham. Well, I can uh, say about my uh, colleagues, my female colleagues in Playing for Change. First of all, I love them so much. They are each one so powerful, so amazing, so uh, unique in her own way. Keiko, I remember her arriving to the band in LA and she just jumped on stage and we were like all in awe of what? Claire, when Claire arrived, I was like, yes, oh my God, like what a beautiful lady playing the bass, holding all the band together and like just, you know, Titi is a force of nature uh, and, and a great, 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 great singer and companion. When I was born, I was like in love with music. My passion was just music, music, music. So I started listening to the Bakers, Aretha Franklin, Mira Makeba's, Brenda Farsi's, like to all genres. I started listening, reggae, gospel. I was just listening to music because I was just in love with it. And I self-taught myself in seeing different techniques in music. So well, I moved on from there and I felt like, no, 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 Titi Tira needs to have her own signature and, you know, be her own person. That's when I started recording my album and that's where I met More Fire when I did my album. We're in the same stable and I wanted a reggae song. And then we and More Fire, we wrote this song, Back to Your Roots. From there, I was invited at the Playing for Change opening school in Guguletu, in January 27. That's where I started knowing of Playing for Change and I joined the movement since I performed there. So it's been a wonderful journey. I hope for young, um, young musicians, young youth, young singers, young female singers, to actually go for their goals, you know? Go for the passion because when you do what you love, you never get tired. You only get tired when you do something that's actually gonna drain you and you feel that drain. But if you do what you love and if it's singing, if it's playing an instrument and you love it and you're passionate about it, then I say you go for it because that is your gift. That's what's given to you, that's your purpose. Working with Playing for Change is always work on the go. We are doing the rehearsal on the road and, and everything. And then like the, the intro part with Roberto was, did not exist at first. And we then on, when we started to, doing, like, to do the rehearsals for the tour, we, somebody offered, suggested that I don't remember who, I think maybe Peter Bonetta. And, and then we started to perform with the song and people loved it because it's a beautiful song and, and I believe in its message, you know, and 
today I think it's like my main focus today I think is as a mother is to be that example for my for my children and to teach them well and you know to teach them well is of course also not just to talk to them and say don't do this don't do that is as well like to be an example and also to see them I see you I see what you're going through and I want to give you tools in order to um, to be able to deal with stuff that happens to you in your life uh, be open be good-hearted you know so many things but First of all, I need to see you as a person and then I'm teaching you also to see other people and not just yourself. I can say that um, today from the perspective that I have after being in Playing for Change for over 10 years, which is unbelievable, it changed me because at first I come from a place with a lot of conflicts and a lot of cynicism about peace and about change and about so many things and people want that but it's also so complex the situation and so I arrived to playing for change you know just making music and I didn't fully comprehend the responsibility that we have but you know going on tour and meeting people from all over the world and I'm the first Israeli that they meet and I'm playing for change and I'm, we're talking about the, the, the positive change that we want to create in the, in the world through music. And I take this responsibility as a, as, as a person, as a woman, as a musician, as a mother today much more uh, seriously. I really hope that I can inspire um, young musicians to be themselves and you you just need to believe in yourself and in your journey and to know that this is your particular journey and no one will do it for you and work hard and believe you know and enjoy the triumphs and you know get stronger from the you know the things that are tough for me it's an inspiration to be surrounded with so such talented powerful ladies around me and beautiful people. So I was born and raised in Japan. And uh, at the five, when I was uh, five years old, I started to learn classical piano from auntie. And uh, I kept playing, now I kept learning the classical piano. And I graduated the classical music college. Then after that, I met the New Orleans music. That was uh, you know, such as uh, Professor Long here, Dr. Jean, and the Meters, Nebula Brothers. I just uh, fell in love to those New Orleans music. So that's why I decided to move to New Orleans. You know, started to play with amazing New Orleans musician. Actually, that was a big education, musical education for me. I learned a lot of things about the music, blues, R&B, or gospel, and funk, and jazz from the actual musician on the stage. I want to say that you to the girls or female musician or any anybody. You have to have your strong belief. You have to trust yourself and you have to trust your guts. You have to trust your instinct and you just stick with it. And I believe that yeah dreams come true. That's how I still believe. <laughs> So, being a female musician, first of all, yeah, my parents, my family said that when I moved to New Orleans from Japan, my parents and family said that, no, you cannot do it. You should have a normal life 
why you cannot do like her having her kids and having her having married somebody yeah I was uh, 29 years old when I moved to New Orleans it is a good age for a woman I you know all the friends got married around that time but still I had the dream I want to be a great pianist I want to play music I love is the nearest music. Yeah, I just left my parents behind. My sister was upset at me. But finally, when they saw me, actually, when I went back to Japan with the Prefer Change Band for the first time, they were like, wow, okay, that's what she was trying to do. So I just, I just did it. Sometimes it is very difficult to be a female musician, you know, playing in the audience. I have to play in the nighttime. But still, I'm doing it. Also, I and Claire, you know, Claire play bass and I play keyboard. And on the stage, always when I'm on the right side of the stage, she is sitting and she's standing at the left side of the stage. And there is a Courtney in the middle. And we feel, I feel like our, you know, this rhythm section on the back here, <laughs> we're doing our job so good. And one, two women on the left and the right. I love to see that female instrumental prayer. And she is very strong, very cool bass player. I've been playing music for almost my entire life. And when I was younger, I didn't think much about the fact that I was a female musician in a mostly male-dominated profession. But as I got older, I was realizing that it was a unique thing. It's very fulfilling for me to know that if a little girl sees me in the audience playing with a Playing for Change band, I am showing her that it's possible. One of the most recent exciting Plank for Change developments for me has been the release of a song that I wrote called Run, which is on the new Plank for Change album, The Real Revolution. And that song was written with Jason Lamson and Robin Moxie in Key West, Florida. This was one of the first songs I had ever been a part of writing in my life. Um, and for the band to hear it and connect with it, um, the message and the music is honestly something that I never thought I would experience in life, being primarily a performer um, as opposed to being a songwriter. So uh, that's something I never thought I'd be able to put on my resume. And now we're getting reviews from the album. So it's uh, just nothing would surprise me now at this point about being involved in this project because every time something good happens, there's another great thing around the corner. Never before. Sorry.